All right, guys, this is where things start to get really fun. This is where we start diving into the nitty gritty, into the real meat and potatoes of this program. So let's learn, and in some cases, relearn Facebook ads. Now, to become a seasoned Facebook ad slash meta, let me change the name, of course, pro, we need to forget all of the crap that we've heard before. And I do mean all of the crap, especially within the confines of local lead generation, okay? Mostly because... It's just so complicated and unnecessarily so. Things have really changed since I started in 2015 till today, which is 2023. Things have changed dramatically and they don't function the same. Of course, like I said, this is local lead generation. We're not running ads for e-commerce. The rules, the strategies, the, you know, the protocols are not the same. And we need to understand that to be successful, we need to have our focus on the right things and not on the wrong things. So today we're going to just do a quick recap on why local businesses need Facebook ads. They need this service. They need you to help them learn how Facebook ads work and then learn the proper lead generation strategy so you can win. All right. So look for local. We already know that people want what they want customers. Okay. And a lot of people come into this thinking, working with these businesses. Well, don't they already have customers? So Briefly, you guys, most local businesses, what they do is they see their boss making some money, okay? They're like, I don't necessarily want to work for him or her, and I want to do things my way, and I'm going to be my own boss. They know they need marketing. They know they need systems. They know they need help, but they're frankly out there doing the thing that they want to do, so they're busy, okay? And you see that in their website because their website's in many cases are not great. Some, but not all, right? They have boom and bust months. As an entrepreneur, there's nothing more frustrating than having like a ton of success and then fulfilling and then boom, you got no more pipeline. Your pipeline is gone, right? So you've got these boom and bust months, which you know seem to plague all local businesses. And frankly, they need your help. So what helps specifically? What drives their business? We already know that that is customers, okay? We've talked about that now at nauseum, okay? How can they get their customers? Boom, enter Facebook ads, okay? Running Facebook ads allows the customers to get attention at scale, okay? This is really important. We buy media to get them leads that turn into customers. And one ad, here's the power of one ad that you can give to your customers. One ad can reach thousands of prospects, This ad that you ran for this particular offer, non-invasive fat removal for a med spa, for example, can go out and get all of these people interested who knew nothing about that customer, who knew nothing about an offer they were doing. It's a game changer. That's why your customers want and need these ads. And Facebook ads, quite frankly, they are the bomb, you guys. And with them, you can become the bomb. So let's make sure that that's what we're working towards. All right, so uh, principle number one, This is something counterintuitive to a lot of Facebook ads course, to a lot of things that you see on YouTube, on other courses. Always start with the creative, okay? This is what I want you to think about when you're creating your first campaign on Facebook. Think of Facebook like a billboard. How does a billboard work? Well, first, we're going to need some eye-catching images, right? This one really catches the eye, of course, right? So we need something that is visual that's going to stop that person and grab the attention. The next thing are the words, okay? We need the right words. And again, if you go back to our niching down, we need that dog whistle copy. We need the words that are gonna speak to a very specific person, okay? And then we need a reason for them to take action. So images, words, offer. This is basically the building blocks of every single ad that you will run for your customers. It works just like a billboard. And if you maintain these core things, you will win. And the more you understand your customers, the more you understand the niche and the psychology, these things will become that much more clear and compelling as you get leads for your customers. All right, so why start with creative? Quite frankly, the type of targeting, when we hear about targeting in the world of digital marketing, we hear about a lot of things like set up this ad set, do that, do these things. The targeting that we're focused on in this program and to be successful is targeting that starts with psychographics. What are psychographics? Okay. 
without getting too complicated and using words like algorithm, because real people know the difference between a good ad and a bad ad. Facebook knows that as well. Okay. This type of targeting is about creative, creative that speaks to a target specific customer. How does it do this? Well, let's look at some of the tools, some of the AI that you might not know about that probably I don't even know about. Quite frankly, I'm sure there's a ton of things that we've, we can't even imagine that these algorithms are doing. But here's an example. If you go to cloud.google.com, okay, there you can put whatever image into that engine and it will analyze things like what's in this, what's in this ad, a brassiere, packaged goods, pants, okay? What is the tone? Is it joyful? How confident are the people in the ad? right? What is in the ad? Face, head, arm. These are identifying things. The algorithm is actually identifying what is in this ad, including the words that are in the ad. And it does this on a frame by frame basis for video as well. That means Facebook already analyzes your videos. They know what they're about and they know who would want to see them. They know that you have put something out there to out there to get the specific attention of those people. And they don't need much more than that. Okay. And if you do it right, Facebook will reward you based on the quality of ad that you put out there, which means something very amazing to you to be awesome at Facebook. First, all you have to do is be awesome at ads. And by the way, Awesome ads always beat awesome targeting. If I have to choose one over the other every single day, I'm choosing awesome ads. That should be empowering to you because as you learn the creative side of this business, you will learn that psychology is pretty simple. You are a human. You understand what motivates you, what gets your attention and diving into the psyche of the people that you're trying to, uh, whose businesses you're trying to promote. All you have to do is understand their prospects. It's not complicated. So that's the first thing is understand that good creative is the most important thing. And that targeting, when we talk about targeting, the most important type of targeting to start with is psychographics. But what's next? Okay. It is important that we have technical targeting in our back pocket, that we know what to do. All right. But we also need to keep things simple. Okay, so before we jump into the technical side of targeting, I want you to understand first the structure. So if you were to log into ads manager right now, you'd see three steps. Okay, now we're going to actually do this without getting into ads manager, because quite frankly, I think that all of the bells and whistles, all the buttons, all the columns, all the categories, all the little whatever it is can just be overly confusing. And for these purposes, you can learn exactly what ads manager does and how it does it just by going through these three steps. So the first step in ads manager, when you're starting a new campaign from scratch is the campaign objective. Basically what that means is this is where you're going to tell Facebook, what do you want it to do? You want it to sell a product. Do you want it to get build some branding? Do you want it to get you leads? You just tell it what you want it to do. And then the second step of the process is okay. We know what we want to do, but who do we want to do it for? This is where you tell Facebook who is our target customer. Now this historically, again, we're going to jump more into this is where people get overly complicated, but once you've done that part, then you can show them the awesome ads that you've created. So there's three columns. So you have your campaign objective, your ad set. So who is going to see your ads? And then of course your ads. Now, as I said before, right here, right in the middle, this is where everyone gets so confused. Why? Well, two primary reasons. One, over time, the algorithm has gotten smarter. What Facebook wants you to do now is let the algorithm figure things out and really stop putting so many parameters on it. Okay. So that's changed over time. But also when you hear about the different technical targeting strategies, and some of the fancy setups, most of the time that is, those are conversations happening with, you know, e-commerce stores and big, huge shop accounts, things like that. In a local market, it works differently. Okay. And 
if you're reflecting back onto, well, what is he talking about? What, what kind of strategies are we talking about? This is what the actual ad set level of ads manager will look like. It'll give you all sorts of information about demographics, the ability to target, you know, and people say, Hey, let's go ahead and target based on interest. That would seem pretty, pretty smart. Let's, if they're interested in chiropractic, for example, we can choose that and it'll get people that are interested in chiropractic to come into the practice. We can also do some fancy behavior targeting, or maybe we can stack them. This is why this is dead wrong. Imagine this amazing jet boat, okay? Imagine putting this jet boat on this dinky little pond. What would happen? It's going to be fun for about a minute, but after a minute, you're going to run right into the other embankment. You're going to crash and burn. Here's the point. Why, why does this make any sense? Can you bring me to a point here, Sam? When you're running ads for local businesses, the audience size are so small. And the conversations that people are having are always about these huge audiences. That's why 95% of the targeting that you do actually happens right here in these columns. Where are you targeting? What are the ages, gender, and languages? This is 95% of the win. I don't care what local lead generation niche you're in. For me, simple always wins. All right, let's do a quick little recap on how we're going to succeed with Facebook ads. By the way, we haven't even gotten into ads manager and we're already learning more about Facebook ads than probably any course you've ever heard of in terms of local lead generation. There's a lot of cool things out there for e-commerce and big stuff like that, which does make sense. But for this, for what we're doing, we haven't even gotten into ads manager and we're already learning the best practices. So start with good creative. Okay. Targeting starts with solid psychographics, meaning our ads talk to specific people. Keep things simple. Okay, you guys, you really know a lot more just with this foundation of principles, just with this little short video that we've been on here today. You know more than most agencies because those agencies have been listening to these other people, these quote gurus. And because of that, they keep doing these things over and over again, learning bad behaviors, repeating bad behaviors, never really getting off the ground. All right. By the way, attached under this video is a PDF. Now this is called lead generation schools. It's a run through of Facebook ads. It's also a couple of best practices in terms of retargeting things like that. I don't really believe in retargeting, but it kind of goes into all those things. And it's a good guide for you if you're learning or for team members, if they're trying to get educated on how Facebook ads work in your agency. So thanks for watching and we're going to see you on the next video.